Hey everybody, this uh, lesson is called Reflections. It's a pretty easy lesson. It's like a mirror image and we're going to uh, do that. We're going to reflect them across lines. And don't forget all your lessons uh, can be found at MrMathBlog.com. And then when you get there, I'll show you this in just a second. And then we click the Integrated Math 1 link. So when you get there, you'll see this site right here. And these are all the classes that I teach and there's some more over here. But Integrated Math 1 is right there. So if you click that right there, it'll take you to the lesson. So here's the first semester, the second semester is over here, so it's going to go right down underneath the last one that we did, which was translations. All right, let's get started with this. So our essential question is, how do we draw the image of a figure under a reflection? Okay, so it all deals with perpendicular bisectors, you guys. So what's perpendicular? Well, perpendicular lines are lines that intersect at right angles. So over here, this little right, red um, right angle mark shows that line L and line M are perpendicular to each other. And I didn't see your book do this, but an upside down capital T is our math symbol for the word perpendicular. So I'm going to use that in this lesson. So a perpendicular bisector of a line segment is a line... Uh, that's perpendicular to the segment at its midpoint. So here, line N is perpendicular because of that right angle right there. And since this side equals this side, that's what these tick marks means right there. Then it bisects this segment right here. So it is a perpendicular bisector, okay? So it doesn't have to be a line. It could be a ray or anything that goes through the midpoint. Even a plane can go through that midpoint right there. Or other segments can go through that midpoint. But here we're just talking about lines that are perpendicular bisectors. So a reflection uh, across the line L maps a point P to its image P prime, making uh, the line L a perpendicular bisector of P P prime. So basically, if I'm going to reflect this point over this line, it has to go in a perpendicular fashion, so it has to go so there's a right angle, and whatever this distance is, it has to equal that distance right there. That's all this says right there. So if, the, if a point is on the line, then the reflection is itself. Okay, so we're going to draw the image of triangle ABC after reflecting it across this line. So this triangle ABC, we're going to reflect it over there. So how we do that, you guys, is we draw segments uh, with endpoints at vertex A, and then we'll do it with B and C also, so that it goes perpendicular to the line L and it bisects it. It's bisected by line L. So what we're going to do is draw a dotted line so it goes straight over so it makes a nice right angle right there. And whatever this distance is, it's going to have to be the same on that side right there. Okay, so there's A prime right there, okay? So notice um, this distance is the same as that distance, and there's a right angle right there, okay? So as long as it is, then this is a reflection. So now we're going to do the same thing with um, uh, vertices B and C. So there they are right there, and we're going to label them uh, B prime and C prime, okay? So this little apostrophe means A prime is the reflection of A, B prime is the reflection of B, and C prime is the reflection of C, okay? And then we uh, connect them all up, and there's our reflection right there. That's how we do a reflection. Now, later on in further lessons, we don't need this, these segments right here, but in this lesson, you're going to be asked to draw these little perpendicular bisected segments right here. Okay, but later we, we won't have to do that. Okay, so we'll do that with this one right here. Okay, so... We're going to go ahead and, and draw a segment with endpoint A uh, so that uh, the segment is the perpendicular to line L and L bisects it. So we're going to go straight here to make a right angle and make it the same distance over there on that side right there. Okay, so there's a, a nice right angle. And so whatever this length is, it's equal to this length right here. All right, and then we're going to do the same thing from B and C. Now C is its own point. So the reflection of C is just C prime. It's going to be right there. Okay, so but B, we got to go straight across right there and then connect them up. Okay, so there it is right there. Now, can you see this blue triangle going reflected over and it's reflected over this line? This line is like a mirror right there, and I'm kind of tilting my head sideways right here, and then this blue guy gets reflected over there. This red guy is a reflection of the blue guy right there. Okay, all right, so. Rules for reflections on a coordinate plane. Okay, so if we reflect the ordered pair x, y 
uh, across the x-axis, and all that does, the x-axis is this horizontal one right here. The x stays the same, but the y is opposite signs. And similarly, if we go across the y-axis, the x is the opposite sign and the y is the same. Okay, they're going to ask you to reflect across the line y equals x. And so when it's reflected over the line y equals x, I'll show you that line in green in a little bit. We just change the ordered pairs. So xy becomes yx. Okay, and then uh, across the line y equals negative x, we change the ordered pairs and then we make them opposites of each other. Negative y, negative x. Okay, so let's reflect uh, this figure with the given vertices across the given line. Okay, so the, here's the, um, the triangle. Triangle MNP, and gonna, we're going to reflect that across the y axis right there. Okay, so remember, you guys, we're going across the y axis, the x is uh, opposite, you guys. So this is going to become negative 1, 2. This is going to be negative 1, 4. This is going to be negative 3, 3 right there. Okay, so there we go. And then when we graph those guys, so the pre-image is the blue guy, so there's that one right there. And then reflect it right over, so predict which quadrant it's going to be in. Well, this is quadrant 1, this is quadrant 2, this is quadrant 3, this is quadrant 4. So if it's in this quadrant and it's going to be reflected over the y-axis, it's going to be over here. Okay, and then when we graph those red guys right there, so uh, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be put over there in quadrant two. Okay, so and can you see this reflection? This guy's getting reflected over here. These guys are reflections of each other. So the furthest point away, which is P, is the furthest. Its reflection is going to be the furthest point away, P prime. Okay, and N prime is the reflection of N, and M prime is the reflection of M. Okay. All right, so this time we're going to reflect uh, D, E, F, G, which is a quadrilateral, uh, it, over the line Y equals X. Okay, Y equals X is when 0 equals 0, or 1 equals 1, or 2 equals 2, or 3 comma 3, 4 comma 4, or negative 1 comma negative 1, negative 2 comma negative 2. The line Y equals X is that green guy right there. So when we reflect over the line Y equals X, all we do is switch the ordered pairs. So this 2, 0 becomes 0, 2. This is 2, 2. This is going to become 2, 5 and, and 1, 5. So there they are right there. Okay, so let's graph the pre-image. So that's this blue guy right here. So 2, 0 is D. 2, 2 is going to be E. 5, 2. Here's over 5 up 2. Here's F. And then 5, um, uh, 1 is going to be G right there. Okay, let's I do that right. Yeah. Okay, so uh, now we're going to go ahead and, and since um, uh, D, E, F, G is in quadrant 1, and if we reflect it over here, it's going to stick us in quadrant 1 still, except this guy is going to be reflected over here. We're just switching the ordered pair. So let's go ahead and graph that, and there it is right there. Okay, so as long as we follow the rules of the reflections that we just uh, talked about, and the re rule of reflection of y equal x just means change the x and y to y x. Okay, all right. So given that uh, triangle A B A prime B prime C prime, this red guy is the image of triangle A B C under a reflection. Let's draw the line of reflection. Well, remember the line of reflection means we got those perpendicular bisectors. So let's draw the segments from A to A prime, from B to B prime, and from C to C prime, okay? And then remember, perpendicular bisector means it goes through the midpoints. So we have to use our prior knowledge about midpoint formula. So we're going to add the x's together, divide by 2. Add the y's together, divide by 2. Well, I've done that already. So here we go. So the midpoint of uh, A, A prime is going to be here. This is at negative 3. 3, okay, and then this guy is over here at, um, uh, let's see, 2, 4, at 5, negative 1 right there. So we add the x's, negative 3 plus 5 over 2, and add the y's, 3 plus negative 1 over 2, and we get these. So let's go ahead and graph those midpoints, and then that's going to be our line of reflection right there. So now plot those midpoints. And the line of reflection goes right through those midpoints right there, okay? So that's how you do those ones. You find the midpoint. So we're going to do the same thing with this one. So given the red triangle is the reflection of the blue triangle, draw the line of reflection. So let's connect A to A prime, okay? B to B prime and C to C prime. And so then we're going to find the midpoint. So I've done the midpoints. I'm surprised. I thought I connected those. But anyways, so we're going to have to find the midpoints of this ordered pair, which is at... 
over 4 up 7. So we add uh, 4 plus, um, and then this guy's over 6 up 3. So we add the x's, 4 plus 6 over 2, and then 7 plus 3 over 2, and that gives us these ordered pairs. So the midpoint of a, a prime is at 5, 5. So it's going to be right there. The midpoint of b, b prime, so from b to b prime is going to be at 1, 3. So over 1, 3. So the midpoint's going right there. It's going through 5, 5. And the other one's going through 3, 4. There's 3. There's 4. So those are the midpoints. And so that's where our line goes through, our line of reflection is right there. So we got to find the midpoints of A, A prime, uh, C, C prime, and B, B prime, and then where those midpoints connect up, they should be on the straight line, and that's our reflection line right there. All right, you guys, if you're in my class, that's your assignment. Take care.